Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo master run of this week's featured Nightfall, which is Fallen Saber. I am doing an Orc 3.0 Hunter. As you can see, these are all the abilities, uh, aspects and fragments I'm using. We're, we're going to really be buying into the into the whole jolt Arc 3.0 mechanic where we spread lightning effect between uh, enemies. It's, this is a, we do 25% more arc damage in this Nightfall, so arc 3.0 is really going to be good uh I, i've i've used sniper for barrier bow for uh overload and obviously the the linear fusion rifle just for dps storm chaser obviously does arc damage now the new super i'm using is called gather and storm we're going to be using that for almost area of, of effect damage uh, on my class class item i have surge detonators which basically are Stop Overload Champions, probably the most repeatable way other than Lemon Arc for stopping them. Bad Amplitude will be damaging an, a, a champion with an arc ability jokes them, so they will spread it. And then the usual Scavengers and Finders. And, uh, I've got a solar, in, solar Damage and I've got a solar, solar and Arc Damage mod on my chest plate, which is a Thermal Stock plate and it's pretty stock now. But I've also got an arc resist so I can put powerful friends on and get that plus 20 mobility which will help me with the dodge since I am using uh, one horse crown because togetherness is uh, a modifier the solo players hatred <laughs> but it's on on this nightfall so the nightfall has three sets I believe of rotating modifiers the modifier that rotated during during this nightfall was arc and stasis abilities recharge faster, but you take more damage from those sources. So if you don't see your abilities charging as fast as mine, that will be why. So I would suggest I had, I believe, four, uh, four or five discipline on this strike. If you feel like your grenades aren't coming back as fast as mine, raise it to about six or seven and you should be cool. So... This is kind of an old strategy. We're just going to sit inside the war sap because, well, why wouldn't you, to be honest? So we can just bypass all the enemies here. All the enemies will despawn once the war sap has been captured. And all we'll have to do then is take out the two overloads and the barrier. I say all you've got to do, like that's nothing, but you understand what I mean. You're going to save yourself 23, maybe four minutes, maybe more with clearing these ads. Uh... I plan on getting into a, a routine of doing at least two runs a week. We are going to get the featured Nightfalls back where I'll use a set of weapons all based on one activity, whether it be a raid, Iron Banner, Crucible Vanguard, whatever the case might be. Uh, we're going to start that this week. But I wanted to get the Hunter done because I feel like, I feel like the Hunter's really good for this. I think the Warlock's probably built for this one. <laughs> to be fair, you can't really count any of them out because this Nightfall, just to give us a little bit of problems, when it first came out, this was the, one of the hardest in D1. Really dumbed it down to the point where you're running sub-20 runs and it's not even a speed run. So I feel like all the classes will do a bit in here. So it doesn't really matter what character... Um, and with them all having the same fragments, maybe not aspects, but fragments, most of the characters can do the same jobs. So... It, even though this is a hunter run, you can still do this with the Titan and the Warlock. Uh, at the end of the video, I am going to make a little bit of an announcement because I've got... Uh, it's pretty exciting for me, but I've got some exciting news to share. I've already shared it on the channel, but if you didn't see it earlier on, I'll, I'll, I'll speak about it again at the end. So as you can see, we're, we're up to about 95. As soon as it gets to 100, the ads will kind of change their movement. You'll see here. They kind of like chill out as soon as the hundred, and then I just turn around as soon as they disappear. I just get pushed back here. I'm going to take the barrier out first. Now the sniper does decent damage on the barrier. Now I I, I forgot actually to start with that uh, when you when you stagger a server, the crit point is at the bottom of that circle of the crit circle. So if you're wondering why you're not hitting crits. Unfortunately for me, that overload, the, 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 I tried to jolt him with the, with the grenade. You'll see here how much damage because of arc. I tried to jolt him with the grenade. You have to kind of wait 
get a bit closer and wait for them to stop jumping about and then you can jolt them really easy with a grenade. As I said, surge detonators is probably the most predictable way other than Lemon Arc to stop an overload because I have to tell you, <clears throat> although you can stop them with, uh, and you'll see here, I do stop them with Trinity Ghoul. The minute they stand back up, it doesn't matter how many times you hit them, they are going to regenerate. You cannot stop them for whatever reason. Surge Detonators takes that problem out because as long as they're being damaged by o something Overload, they shouldn't regenerate, which is why Limonok still the still the best uh, for for stopping. Well, that this season, Osteo Shrieker obviously being of the same ilk where it, where it burns. So as soon as I come in, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get rid of all of the enemies that can really do a serious damage quickly. I'll back away. So I, I, I took out the exploding shanks. As soon as I appeared in, I took out the explosive shanks, right? And then I came in here. You're always going to get some ads in here. See here, I put down my gathering storm super, which which what it done was it killed all the all the ads that were being shielded uh, by the server because, obviously, the super negates the, the, the barriers, can't stop the servers then. It can't, the barriers can't save the servers. See there, I've took everything out. This was actually, I, I've done this this run on stream. If you don't know what my stream channel is by now, uh, I will link it in the description, but I stream on a different channel to this one. It is a suggested channel at the bottom of this channel, Live on Destiny, it's called. I stream there Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays, every week. And we do a lot of these runs on there. Uh, this isn't the run I'd done on the stream though. I wanted to come and get, I think the run I'd done was a 21 minute run, but it was, wasn't was very efficient at certain part, parts. This run was efficient for different reasons. So I've came in here, I've took out the Exploders, and then I've came into this left hand channel. You'll get ads, invisible, uh, invisible uh, fallen coming after you in that channel. But it, they come, you know, it'll be one side and it'll be the other side. And normally I can take them all out before they came in. But because of this, because I popped the super quite early, it speeded up the spawns. So it changed the, the, the way that I was expecting the spawn. So if you, it didn't really matter too much because as you've seen, uh, we still took out most of the enemies. Now what's happening now is this, what I done was as soon as you take out the overloads, you're gonna get that uh you're gonna get the prompt to shoot shoot open the vent. Now you'll see there's an absolute ton of of the marauders outside. The reason for that is my grenade uh disappeared into the into the my grenade disappeared <laughs> into the void for some reason. So if I'd have thrown my grenade on the stairs, be be very careful that that's what you're doing. If I'd have thrown my grenade into the stairs, onto the stairs, I would have killed them all. And by this point, I would be on the second overload. But, uh, you know, swings and roundabouts, that's what it is. When you see all that red outside, there's two overloads there. We know that there's two overloads there. I know there's two overloads, but I also know now that there's still at least one marauder. So as you can see here, you'll see that grenade's under I always throw it from there. Uh, because if I throw it from here, uh, if I throw it from here, that's probably not going to make it over there. But as you can see with this uh, this thing, this new modifier, I've almost got my grenade back. I find that out of all the classes, my hunter struggles to get his grenade back. Out of, out of them all, it's my hunter that struggles to get his grenade back that fast probably my issue for not having higher discipline but as you i mean i've got it back i've had it back for a couple of seconds so in this room when you first come in you're going to have two champions once you take down the overload uh i normally take the barrier first but when you take down the overload you're going to get two more overloads and a bunch of ads coming in and you're going to shoot the the panel open like i did make sure you hit that grenade on the stairs and then clear out some yellow bar snipers like these ones i'm taking out and then kill the last two overloads. A lot of overloads in, in that in that room, and a lot of invisible marauders. Now, you're at this part now. The the arc streams. 
you have to be very careful. If these arc streams hit you, it's over. You probably won't survive it because of the 25% the additional arc burn. So what I'm doing here is I'm just chasing this arc stream down and I'm sliding because if I slide, you see there I slid too much. If I slide, when you pick up the orb, you can't sprint. So if you slide, you keep up with the arc stream because you can slide at the same speed that you could slide without it. So just take the left hand side and just slide after. Just keep sliding, slide up, slide up, and you'll keep up, up, up the same speed as the arc stream. And then you'll see that little bit that I, I kind of went into. Make sure you go in there and you'll be absolutely fine. So now I'm going to pop my super, throw my grenade. Hasn't stopped the overload. It's killing all the other all the other ads. So I'm going to do my best to take out this barrier. There we go. The barrier's down, so he can't protect any of the other ads. But what happens now is now I'm going to get a whole bunch of more ads. There are still already two uh, overloads up. This is why... So we've got one coming now. I'll just throw my grenade right on top of him. Stops him, no problem. And you see the jolt? Every time I hit him, he chains the electricity off himself. So there's two more overloads up. No problem. Now, I actually think... I don't think I get the kill on him. Which is cool. Uh, there we go. Linear fusion rifle finders at their best. So now I can jolt him. And just... I didn't even have to. I didn't even hit him with the the, the sniper. Uh, we won't say. We won't talk about that. I, was, I meant that. I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> I wanted to show you. You don't need to snipe him. But uh, yeah, once you so so as you seen there, once you took the barrier, there was still an overload up when I took the barrier. Once I took the barrier though, I got two more overloads. See the the jolt. So efficient when you jolt the jolt the the overload, uh, and any ads around it just chains that lightning off them just by hitting them. It leaves like a some arc damage on them, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do on this section, I'm just going to fire a grenade up top and see what I can get because of that chain. You see the chained electricity. The great thing about doing that is that the champion didn't get the opportunity to shield too many enemies. So there's there's nearly always an ad up top that that isn't shielded, but here I don't find it so much. So now I'm going to try and take. Be careful with the snipers. So now I'm going to try and take out the barrier, which didn't work. And and if you look that, I I really wanted to see that because I was positive I hit uh that I hit a. Uh, a precision shot. Now, I only have a few shots, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to use the bow just to do the damage. Break them, and now I'm going to try and hit them with my grenade, which has now jolted them. So every shot I hit, I'm going to wait to break them again. Every shot I hit does more damage to them. So I'm almost out of ammo, but it's cool because I've got I've got a ton of ammo sitting up top there so now what i'm going to do is throw my throw my super which takes care of most of the other ads and as soon as i get my grenade just throw the grenade now what we're doing is we are chaining damage and you see how it's chaining that damage in between all the overloads you know and i'm still hitting them with an overload weapon so there that's that's two of the overloads down absolutely you know, I used to I used to not like this section because I thought there were too many overloads. There are two solar captains. I'll just snipe, put, put some snipe shots on them. Might not have to put any more. There you go. I used to not like this section because I felt like there was an excessive amount of barrier champions up. But as you can see, if you can chain damage between them, and that was the great thing with Limonarch as well, and the Osteo Strieger, is when you hit the shots, it chained that kind of damage, that, uh, that, that, that poison, the, the, the damage over time, 
And if you spread it amongst them, the burn would stop them, would overload them. So here we are. It's actually very simple to get to the boss. You're going to see this is this is a very simple boss fight as well. So the only other shields in, in the whole uh, strike are heat. Well, the only other sh shields in the whole strike are servers. Now we bypassed the first server. So this is the only other shield we've had to deal with. And I, I was kind of, if I'm being honest, a little peek behind the scenes here. I actually was running the the Void Linear Fusion Rifle, the, the uh, Taipan. I was running that here to start with. And then I accidentally changed to, to the Storm Chaser and was like, oh, well, I'll just run it with that. And, well, it was very good. So, with the boss, what we're going to do is I'm not going to super the boss to start with. See, I'm just, I'm just putting that. Now, it says about the jolting effect. You see how it's put the jolt on him? It has jolted him because you can see those shanks, which is very frustrating that I'm getting no points for the shanks. And I'm I'm plenty I've got plenty of time left. I don't know if that's if that's supposed to happen, but uh well I definitely wasn't I I can't say I wasn't happy, I was surprised. So we've got a barrier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill the the kind of additional enemies. I don't I'm not really too worried about my ammo at the moment. I'm gonna wait until after he goes after he goes to his so these are his first, two this the boss has three different damage phases two of them are sniper phases which are these two where he's in his solar phase right so you can see there that super just absolutely mold him some people are going to talk about my my power level as if that's the reason why i managed to do it like this if you're coming up close to 1590, you'll be able to do it exactly the same way I did. So, so the boss has got two phases, four phases, three elements. He does two phases as a sniper. And then what will happen is, it's kind of weird the way this boss works. So two phases as the sniper, now he's, now he's a void, right? And n n now he's running his void, uh... His void element. When he does his two sniper, they both count as two separate phases. Now the void and the solar, you can basically this will be the last time he'll shield. So you do two solar sniper phases as two separate phases, and now you're gonna do his void and his arc phase as one phase. So as you can see, I've got some arc kills, I'm amplified. So I did come over here to try and get uh some additional heavy and because i was amplified i got the speed boost so i knew i'd be able to outrun his bullets so two arc phases you get two barrier champions and a whole bunch of shanks now just there's one phase left i can just go after him right now if i want and just you know kill him do it if i can do the damage i can just kill him there is no more barrier champions to look look out for no more additional you know all I need to do now, really, is wait for my super. And what I will, what, when it comes to it, I'm just, I'm just putting shots on it to keep them coming down. And you'll see a line of text coming up saying uh, that he's calling extra reinforcements. At a certain point, now I used to wait for that point. At a certain point, it will still say the shank commands back up or whatever it says. Uh... I'm I'm actually waiting to see what it says. I'm looking to see what it says. The shank reinforcements, that's what it says. It says that he summons reinforcements. There will come a point where that will come up, but no you know, the these sniper these uh, exploding shanks, they are not unlimited. Like they are limited, they are fine finite. You know, that eventually they'll stop coming, but it'll still come up that he's because he's still shouting for help, <laughs> but nobody want, nobody wants anything to do with him. So what I used to do was wait for that to come up, and then I'd be like, right, no, no exploder shanks, we're good, we'll just we'll go after him. Now because I know how much damage that this, you know, the super and linear and all that can do, I, I'm just gonna wait for my super. The minute I get my super, I'll kill the next wave after the super. So I've got my super. 
what I'm going to do is just clear this, these couple of exploders that have come out and then we're going to take his health down. It's, they'll all, make sure you keep checking here. There'll always be one or two in the waves that go and hide there. So now we'll take him down. Uh, just reload again. And there's a, another exploder. I'll put my super on top of him, which will attack that that that, what, that storm one. We'll just stick on top of him. And as you can see, what you've got to do there is hit him with some linear fusion rifle shots afterwards. The super does most of the damage for you because it just because it's a because your arc staff, you're throwing it like like a spear. So bang, you're just sticking it in and wherever he goes, he's gonna continue to do that damage. And you finish him off with a linear fusion rifle. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps you on your runs. Uh, stay tuned at the end of the video, and I, I will I will talk a little bit more about this surprise. Take it easy, guys. I'll have another run up very soon. Uh, I hope you're having a great day, and I will speak to you guys in the next video. So as I said in the video guys, I do have a bit of an announcement to make. I wanted to do this separate to the video. I've actually partnered with Hyperfuel Gaming Energy Drinks. Uh, it's a supplement, gives you more focus, hydrates you, a uh, bit more energy, especially if you're grinding out those bounties or that seasonal XP. Uh, I, I recently started trying them. I didn't really drink any of this, stuff, any of this, any of that kind of supplement drinks before. Uh, the sour apple so far is my favourite taste if I'm being honest. I have my own code so if you do feel like trying it and supporting the channel uh, use code MONDO at checkout for the 10% uh, off. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you do try it let me know what you think about it and I will see you guys in the next video.